What's up YouTube? It's your boy Stans here and welcome back to another Pixelmon Generations video here on the Neo server of Pokey Mayhem. Today we're going to continue our journey through the Neo server story, but before we do that we actually have ourselves a lucky block token? Yeah we do. Or, okay, it, it says place lucky block so it is. I'm calling it a lucky block, but it is the vote crate block and uh, you get it of course via the means of voting so we're gonna go to open that up and see exactly what we go ahead and get so we can open it i believe anywhere hopefully we either get money or candies or something along the lines of something that will benefit us so let's check this out what can we get actually a shiny legend oh we could get a ruby oh okay a, bo a boss coin will be okay oh what is that we won 50 pokey builder tokens which is pretty good because uh, considering today i might do something with that in today's video but before we continue with our quest because we have our trusty little story quest line book in our hand I just want to let you guys know that I do have a code you guys can take advantage of uh, the code being stands 10 gets you 10% off of the pokey mayhem web store so if you guys are looking into buying keys or Pokemon and stuff like that my code will help you get 10% off of your total order so make sure you take advantage of that because everybody all parties involved do benefit you save money, the store slash server stays up, and then your boy gets his code used. But uh, without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So, story 4.2. The city and its people are finally free from the pirates. Now you can challenge the Nibbleham. Nibbleham, Jim? I, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this old man that's in this building also told me that the gym leader's actually in that ship. So uh, we're going to work on that today. My pre like, I, what I presume though is that in that ship it's going to be full of flying type Pokemon just because they're in the air. And if that's going to be the case, I'm going to need to evolve our Pupitar because he's going to be what helps us in uh, pretty much winning. And, well hopefully because he's kind of been useless up until this point. So uh, that's going to be something we're going to take advantage of because we have ourselves... 26 rare candies, but we are also going to work on the pokey builder stuff because I'm pretty sure I have coins or tokens enough to uh, Mess with some natures of Pokemon in particular Sceptile because I think he's gonna be our powerhouse and gonna be a Pokemon I'm going to be using for a while. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit of research Explain my research and uh, get everything rolling for today's video. Okay, so to start off We're gonna be messing with pokey builder. So to do that I'm gonna go ahead and do pokey builder the command and I'm going to tap a few times so that we can go to the tokens and see how many tokens we have available for us to use. And that's 371. From my understanding, I think you need 200 tokens to change the nature of a Pokemon. And uh, for that, we're going to go ahead and just Poke Builder to open up the, you know, the Poke Builder menu. Now, of course, it looks like the server is on a little bit of lag. We, we kind of fixed that. Our Pokemon that we're going to be messing with is Sceptile because we're going to aim for changing the uh, nature of this Pokemon. So modify nature. And yeah, it, it costs 200. Oh, some cheaper than others because they're usually the ones that you don't really use. Uh, but for the most part, 200 is what we're looking for. So the nature that we're going to want for our Sceptile is going to be Timid. Where are you? Where are you? Right here. Timid. Set nature to Timid. You just set your Pokemon's nature to Timid for 200 tokens. Your current balance is 171. So let's take a look at our Sceptile and the stats. And the reasoning behind our pick of Timid is because Sceptile will specialize in special attack and of course speed. Hence the reason why we picked this. But now it's time to actually evolve our Pupitar. We have 26 rare candies which we've accumulated, accumulated via votes and uh, Pokestops and stuff like that and we have enough to get him to 55 and I think kind of balance out the rest of the team to be honest So Pupitar or well Tyranitar now here we come uh, We just need a few more levels here crunch over dark pulls. Well, I don't know They do pretty much the same thing But I kind of like the, the lowering the defense stats so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of dark pulls for crunch I don't know if that's a good po uh, the good pick to be honest, but it's something we're gonna have to study just a little bit later. Earthquake is gonna be something very very important, and I think we're gonna get rid of Sandstorm because I believe Tyranitar has the ability of uh, the the Sandstorm. As soon as he comes into play, he he whips up a Sandstorm. So that's what we're gonna do. And then 55, and he's evolving. There we go. So Pupitar into Tyranitar. 
And now we just balance the team out with our rare candies. Oh, I'm so excited. I think we might be able to push two gyms into this story. It just depends on what the gym leader up, up top is going to tell us. So Tyranitar, dude, finally, yeah, finally I could use you and like I could ride you, but I'm like inside you. So uh, now let's try to balance the team out. We have 13 rare candies. I guess we want to get everybody kind of on the equal fl uh, playing field of uh, level 50. So Greninja. Ooh, extra sensory is pretty cool, but no, no, no. Big pass. So level 50 there. Gardevoir. Uh, Hypnosis. I'm going to pass on that too. I actually could have gotten rid of double team. So there's that. Guardy. What about Raichu? Now we're going to put you here. Raichu's at level 50. And then Altaria. And Altaria is now level 50. I'm actually going to use the rest of my rare candies on Altaria. Just because I don't show Altaria enough love. Ooh, Moonblast. That's pretty cool. Get rid of Takedown. Dude, yes! Oh, the team is looking really, really cool. Of course, we just need more Poke Body, uh, Poke Builder tokens. I don't know why I say Poke Body. Poke Builder tokens to just alter natures and then start doing that. Of course, right now we have 37 vote tokens, so we'll be buying more tokens in the near future. But uh, we're gonna heal our Pokemon, even though we can P heal, and then we're gonna get started with our quest up in the pirate ship. So this is the gym leader right here. The only reason I can tell you guys this is because there's a sign right next to you, or right next to him, that says, after beating this gym leader, go ahead and click the sign. But check out all of these trainers that you can battle up be until before, like, like you can battle so many trainers before you can even battle him. And I feel like it's in our pretty much Pokemon trainer duty to take advantage of the situation and battle them all. Look at that. The, like I'm on the like the main level of ship now, and there's so many trainers. This is gonna help my team get uh, pretty much leveled up a little bit more without the use of rare candies. Now the thing is, I don't want to show you this because I don't know if you counted it, but there are like 20 trainers here, and I want to show you guys 20 individual battles. I really, you guys really only want to see the one main battle of, of course, the gym leader. So we're gonna go through all these hopefully quickly, and then I'll come back when it's time. To battle the big dog so now I know the type of Pokemon to expect with this gym leader and you guys you know if I go ahead and press F1 you guys will see my Pokemon and see that my Pokemon really didn't level up and uh, I want to show you guys the reasoning behind that with this one trainer that's right behind me pretty much the last of the grunt trainers as you can call them uh, because I've gone through every single one of them and I can tell you guys exactly why I haven't leveled up, but I can also answer you guys the question of what type of Pokemon to expect. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and throw our Pokemon. It's because of this. When you set up one of these uh, battle option things, your Pokemon are set to a level cap, usually not at a level your Pokemon are at. And because of these, you, you can't really level up either. So unfortunately, I've battled all these trainers, but my Pokemon didn't level up. But, uh, to show you guys what type of Pokemon these guys have, all I have to do is initiate the battle. And it pretty much tells me what they're what to expect. So they have a Brexian, a Ninetales, a Typhlosion, and a Ligma. So we're going to start off with Greninja, Tyranitar. Those are my two important ones. Uh, and then, to be honest, I've been just kind of grabbing, like, Gardevoir. And then, like, this one's set to a 3-on-3 three -three battle. So uh, hopefully Greninja is strong enough to take care of the battle. So let's get started. So nine tails, and then we're just gonna water pulse and hope for the best. And then uh, we got we're halfway down on the nine tails. Easy, easy. So now a Typhlosion. Hopefully I am no longer uh, like confused because that's a big, big like annoyance more than it is an issue to be honest with you. He flame charged me. You know, I haven't hit myself yet, so I'm okay with it, though. Come on. There we go. And then he's, he has a Ligma as his last Pokemon. Really? Really? Okay, Ninja. Oh, my God. Greninja is such a beast. Greninja did so much for these gym grunts or whatever they're called. And wait, did it just say I earned money for defeating the gym leader? But he's not the gym leader. What? I'm pretty sure that guy's the gym leader. So I P healed. Hey, you know what? It's time for the gym leader, right? I don't think we're gonna do too much else. Uh, we're not. I was talking about doing a second gym today, 
but I feel like we should probably wait on it. We're gonna do this gym. So this, he's an equal gym leader. We're gonna send out Greninja first, just in case if he doesn't have the same option as the rest of these guys. Oh, server's lagging. Server, server, yeah, server is lagging for a bit. Jesus, I hate when we're, we're getting ready to start one of these like big battles or big something big happen in the episode and just the server have a little bit of a lag out session well, it's not lagging out because we're not getting kicked but it's uh running a little bit slow there we go oh see that's perfect that's perfect okay so he has a chandelure i'm gonna go ahead and water pulse i could have night slashed if i wanted to but i one shot it no problem there he's going into blaziken kind of want to switch into guard of war so i'm gonna switch into yeah i'm gonna switch into guard of war i kind of want to do it close combat kind of did a lot oh but it has speed boost oh that's terrifying psychic please get out of that no oh speed boost it's it's gonna be a terrifying oh my god oh my god i'm about to get swept by this thing just because i wasn't paying attention altaria uh what can we do sky sky attack no jesus Oh my god, regular Blaziken is such a little beast! Look at him! Uh, Thunderbolt. He's paralyzed now, that helps, right? Tyranitar should be able to sweep the rest of the team. Or at least I tell myself that. Oh, Volcarona is. Oh man, this gym leader is just on. Like, it just wants to see me lose. I did almost nothing, and then it's gonna be faster than me. No! Okay, we've learned our lesson now. We've learned our lesson. We definitely learned our lesson, because Septile can't beat this thing. Uh, yeah, Septile can definitely not beat this thing, especially with uh, Leech Life being updated as it is. Leech Life is such a strong... I'm going to go ahead and forfeit this battle. This Leech Life is so good in the Sun and Moon era. So now I, I know exactly what to expect. I know exactly what to expect. I'm not going to switch out from Greninja. Not in the slightest. I'm going to have to still be putting on the pressure. So now we know three Pokemon... We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. So, boom. You can only battle once Minecraft day. Are you serious? We have to wait this guy out. We do. We do. So, with that, guys, we'll be right back once the Minecraft day. Oh, I lost you. You should be... Oh, I'm so frustrated. We'll be back. We'll be right back. All right. So, it's uh, daytime. The next day now. Or at least I think so. So, I should be pretty much able to battle him now. So we have to be aggressive with Greninja. Please tell me I can battle him now. I can! Okay, cool. Is there an Ice Cream Man right outside my window? Yes, there is. <laughs> I don't know why Ice Cream Man just decided to drive, a, you know, pretty late at night. So, eh, bad neighborhood. Makes sense. But it makes sense. So the way I passed my time uh, between pretty much the Minecraft day is I actually just finished uploading a video. It's actually Pixelmon Generations 2.3. Pretty much a sneak peek of it. So uh, I will have that link in the description below. You guys are more than welcome to check that out. And I do not know why my Greninja did not one-shot this thing. So I'm probably going to have to battle this guy one more time. And it's going to be really, really aggressive. Or really, really annoying. Because where did the energy ball come from? And here comes the Volcarona that I... I oh my god. This battle is just going to go all over the place. So uh, we're, <laughs> we're going to try our best. We're going to definitely try our best. But, you know, there's always gym leaders that give us problems yeah that this is not one that we're you know chalk it up for a good measure to be honest yeah there we go yes yes <sighs> time to forfeit i'll be right back maybe i can try one last time if not i do have to level everybody and bounce the team out so let's hope for the best so my ideology here is water um did not get him knocked out like I thought it would, but maybe Night Slash? The user slashes the target the instant an opportunity arises. Critical hits land more easily. Maybe this is what I need to knock out Chandelure. Y no. No. Jesus, man. I don't know what's going on with this team. Don't know what's going on with this team at all. Earthquake. You went into Blaze again. Maybe I can try something here? No. Big no. So let's switch into uh, Gardevoir. Hopefully. Hopefully this helps. Not even close. 
Not even close, guys. Altaria, sky attack. He's just all over that place. He's he's got literally everything. Dual blade or dual chop. I, I can't really do anything. I can't really do anything against this guy. Oh man, we need to do so much to fix our team. So much to fix our team. So, uh, guys, I I you know I'm I'm fine with this. I'm fine with our episode being uh, ending on a like bad note. But I mean, it gives me time to focus up on the team. And uh, maybe we're going to actually have to waste those vote keys on something other than Poke Butler. Uh, maybe some choice items. Maybe. I think those those are available for us to buy, right? I think so. I'm not entirely too sure. I'm not entirely too sure. It's going to be something that we're going to want to check out next time. But with that, guys, I'll leave you guys this. That's going to be it for today's video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys. Make sure to take advantage of using the code STANDS. 10 S T A N Z Z 1 0 gets you 10% off of the web store for Pokey Mayhem. Save yourself 10% of whatever you're buying. Theoretically, if you buy $100 worth of stuff, you save $10 because 10% of $100 is $10. Thank you guys for watching so much, guys. Make sure to check out the Pixelmon Generations update video. Link will be in the description below and the iCard, and of course on the end card. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace!